going to see two topics today okay so welcome to this new course and for this unit you will learn to make assumptions with a degree of certainty in the past okay so uh, we're going to check a little bit and we will get into more detail in, a, in the next slides but the second part you will learn to make judgments and suggestions in past actions so let's just get started in general checking both topics so in the first part we have past models okay now past models uh, basically remember that the models we have are must may might or could okay maybe should but we're going to be focusing on must may might could and those are going to be the, the models we're going to be using for this topic okay so now what is a past model well first of all we have the model and it will be combined with the present perfect so that means we're going to combine it with half okay so as you can see we have must have may have might have couldn't have might not have okay so we're going to be using them like in the present perfect combined with have and remember that we na we need to use the past participle of the verbs okay so in this case the past participle is had the past participle is forgotten the past participle is been the past participle is been and the past participle is remembered okay remember <laughs> that regular verbs so the verbs that end with ed they will be the same uh, for the simple past form as well as the past participle form okay so now let's focus on um, talking about certainty okay so in this case when you have an idea or an opinion that you're almost sure almost 100 percent then we're going to be using the model must okay must in this case the past model must have okay remember the pronunciation is must have must have right or must have okay for example he must have had a meeting with a client okay so I don't know maybe imagine you're at work and you're looking for John okay and you say hi um, excuse me where's John and then the co-worker maybe a co-worker says mm, you know what he had an important meeting you know he must have had a meeting with a client so in this case the co-worker let's imagine um, his name is Frank he's almost sure he remembered that the, the the John had an important event okay so he's almost sure so in this case he's going to be he's going to be using must have okay like oh yes he has an important event yes I remember he must have had a meeting with a client okay almost sure then when we have a possibility about something then we could use may have or might have okay may have might have again okay so for example he may have forgotten the day or he might have been at home okay so in this case we have the same idea right so let's use this one he might have been at home okay so imagine that uh, you're looking for John one more time and you ask the, uh, your co-worker and you say hey I ha do you know where's John um, he's supposed to be here and in this case you say oh well I think he felt sick I think he was feeling terrible he might have been at home okay again possibility and when there's no possibility then we're going to use the negative forms of could like couldn't or might might not okay so for example he couldn't have been at the office he might not have remembered the meeting all right again uh, let's use the second one he might not have remembered the meeting 
So again, imagine that you're at the meeting and you say, hey, um, where's John? He's supposed to be here at the meeting. And then your coworker says, oh, I don't know. He wasn't feeling well or I don't know. He was a little bit distracted. He might have he might not have remembered the meeting again. So in this case, there is no possibility. OK, so these are the, some examples of past models to talk about certainty. OK, let's continue with the next topic. And we're going to be using should when we give an opinion or judgment about a past situation. Right. So in this case, again, uh, judgment, it sounds a little bit harsh, but we'll, we'll try to focus it like an opinion. Right. So imagine these two scenarios. Right. We have person A and person A says, I didn't study for the exam. And then person B could respond. You should have studied. It was 50 points. OK. In this case, yes. Um, well, it is an opinion, but again, it's a little bit of a judgment, right? Because you're saying, well, um, too bad, you know, you, you didn't study, but you should have because it was an important exam. So again, you're, it's kind of a, a judgment because that person is giving their personal opinion. OK, and we're going to be using should again, should with have, should have, should have or shouldn't have or uh, yes, should not have. Okay, so the second example, person A, I told my mom that I was at school. Person B, you shouldn't have told her. She's going to look for you at school. <laughs> okay, so again, we could use that in the positive or in the negative, right? When we give an opinion or judgment about a past situation. All right, let's continue. We could also use would and could when we make a suggestion about a past situation so as you can see both of these focus on past situation right so imagine you today you decided to um, what well, last night you decided to go to sleep at 2 a.m. right so next day you work and then you feel tired and you want you feel really 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 sleepy so again, you I don't know, you tell your friends, say, "Oh my God, I, I'm sleeping. Uh, I feel terrible." Then your friend could give a judgment or an opinion, say, "Huh, you should have slept eight hours. You should have you should have slept early, or you shouldn't have slept so late." Okay. And in this case, we're using could and would again to refer to a past situation, right? Uh, so, for example, I I forgave my friend I wouldn't have forgiven him right so in this case when you, when you, you have fights with your friends etc in this case again a, you're giving a suggestion right in this case person A forgave the friend but person B the other friend says no I wouldn't have forgiven him another option another example is person A my friend was sad and I didn't ask her why person B you could have shown more empathy. Again, it is another suggestion, and we're using either would or could, right, for suggestion. This is more like a judgment, okay, because it's more uh, uh, oriented to criticism, and this one is more like an opinion, like a suggestion, okay? So, this is the end of the first lesson, and I will see you for lesson number two. Have a nice evening. See you later.